Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. Super excited you're here today because I have the most fun box. I almost said funnest. I don't know if that's a word. Most fun box for you. It's a tall and skinny gable box. Well, the fold at the top is a gable fold. So we're going to hop right in. I'm going to get started showing you how to make this. I have to tell you, I did create this um, box on the right, the one that says congrats, for my husband, and it has M&Ms and a gift card in it. So this box is big. It, um, the finished size is seven and a half inches tall, four inches wide, and one and a half inches deep. So we're starting with a piece of 11 and a half by 12 inch cardstock. I'm going to score first at the half inch mark here. Then I'm going to take my paper and turn it all the way around. And I only did that because it's easier to score at the half inch mark with the paper going that way than the other way. I know. Then I'm scoring, so I have my half inch score line to my left now, and now I'm gonna score at two inches, and then I'm going to score at six inches, and finally at seven and a half inches. Then I'm going to, now this is all being scored on the 11 and a half inch side, okay? So then I'm gonna turn my cardstock 90 degrees, and I'm going to score at one and a half, nine inches and ten and a half inches and that is all the scoring that I need to do and the rest is just going to be snipping and punching and stuff like that really really simple box anybody could make this it is so simple so after I finished all my scoring I'm going to grab the box and I'm going to start doing some paper snipping we need to cut away a few places so that the box will fold up appropriately <clears throat> excuse me. So you're going to cut away this top. Um, this is the top of the box. And I know the lines are really hard to see, but there's a little square there that you're going to cut away. And that piece is not needed. So you're just going to cut it away and throw it out. You're going to go down at the bottom where you have your half inch score line. And you're going to cut away this little bitty tab piece because again, it's not needed. So you're just going to get it out of the way and toss it. Then this is the bottom of the box. You're going to trim along the score line at the bottom of the box all the way up into the bottom score line. So we're creating the flaps for the bottom of the box here. Super simple. Then we're going to turn the box around and this is the top and that first big four inch chunk, we're gonna cut in on that score line and in on this score line only to the first score line for the top. Then we're going to fold up and over the first tab so that we can cut away this little center tab and I'm sorry about my camera going in and out of focus here I was really having problems with that um, throughout the day probably not, it's probably time for a new video camera okay then I'm just going to fold on all the score lines and I know some of this is out of the screen and that's because I'm working with such a large piece of cardstock so um, just be patient so basically all I'm doing here is folding on every score line to make sure that this box will fold up nicely. And then of course the little half inch piece here at the end is my tab that closes the entire box. So for our adhesive, you only have to put adhesive in two places. And I personally chose to use tear and tape adhesive. So we're putting it along that half inch tab and then down here at the bottom, on just one of the large flaps that are going to fold up to close the box. Now I chose to put it on that very first flap closest to the half inch score line because that happens to be the flap that is the front of the box. I like all my seams to face the back of the box. So what I did, I realized very quickly I hadn't folded on these. Um, so what I do is I look for where my seam is going to be, which is, this is my seam right here, where I'm creating a seam. That is going to be the back of my box because it has a less pleasant uh, look. It, you can see the seam, and so I like my front of my boxes to be like a nice folded edge. So that's the back, so that's why I chose to put adhesive on the inside of the front flap down here. So now I'm going to remove this tear and tape adhesive. And again, this is the only place that you need adhesive is on the flap that's going to close the box. So two sides in, back down, front folded up, 
and there you have it that folds and closes your box. And again, you wanna use tear and tape adhesive or another strong adhesive. Now we're just gonna push in on the corners and pinch, and that closes the top of our box. Isn't that a cool closure? So I'm gonna take my classic label punch and I'm gonna show you the trick on how to do all of this. I used a corner rounder because I wanted the top of my box to have rounded edges, rounded corners, and so you kind of have to hold these together and punch them, and that's not the easiest task. The corner chomper I'm showing you here is from We Are Memory Keepers, and I will link to it below the video. In fact, all of the products that I'm using will be linked below the video in the description. They're also linked over on my blog at loveandstampin.com. So I'm gonna punch here, and then I'm going to hold these two together, and I'm gonna take a pencil and just trace really quickly inside the one that I've already punched onto the other side. Then I'm going to pull back that flap, slide this label punch in, classic label punch, and punch again. And this will create the top of my box. Now, you can do this however you want. You could put ribbon at the top of this box. You can just simply close it. I used glue dots to close this box, and I'm gonna show you my finished boxes. See how simply I decorated them? I used the celebrate words from, uh, celebrate word from the occasions, celebration, I'm sorry, celebration thinlet set. You can get that free for $100. There's a whole set. And then I used a congrats from the Sunshine Sayings framelits and um, just fun. So if you want to see more information or pictures, you can go over to my blog. Click on either one of the images you see here to subscribe. Uh, to watch those videos, click on the little circle with my face in it to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you come back on Friday for another simple to step up video. And I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.